So, we did some ghost hunting, right? Hunting, for sure. Catching, not. Not so catching. We didn't see any ghosts. Busting, I... not. Hunting, <laughs> yes. Busting, no. Yes. Um, unfortunately, and hey, watch the videos still and share them because they're at least entertaining. I mean, I'm not the only one who's told me that they're entertaining, um, we didn't, but spoiler alert, I can't talk today, oh my god. <laughs> the spoiler alert, there was no ghost. Um, we were definitely a little bit creeped out, like, scale of 1 to 10, I'd say I was creeped out to, like, a 1.5. Um, we, we brought my girlfriend along for, like, to do camera work, and I had to cut it all, because she kept... Like screaming profanities, she being, kept being so scared, just terrified. Yeah. <laughs> so, and we're—I don't know. Right now, I'm trying to keep it to like a PG-13 type of sound and show. I don't know. I don't really, That's fine. But might have a nerd buffet after dark. Oh episode. yeah, after dark episode. Every once in a while, you gotta have that. Um, what kind of after dark are you talking about? Like, are we gonna get hookers here? Or? I don't know. Cocaine. He came. Oh my God! All right, your treat or mine? Like, <laughs> Dep- Mikasa es su casa. Oh my friend! All right, that's awesome. So, but seriously. But yeah, but seriously, we did all these videos for you guys and for us. We wanted to. I I wanted to go see something fun. I thought it'd be cool because what else did I have to do other than sit around and play video games <laughs> um but ghostbusters the reason we did this all is because ghostbusters was talk, coming out this week it is coming out thursday night we're gonna go see it right you're gonna go thursday yeah this thursday okay just just making sure so i'm pretty darn excited i excuse me i think that it's gonna be fun I, it looks funny um it looks a lot like the first movie, but it looks like there's a lot that's different, too. So, I don't understand. I guess I don't understand why so many people are hating on this movie online. There's a lot of hatred towards it, and, I mean, sometimes it could be simplified to sexism. A lot of people want to say that people are sexist because they don't yeah, like the new movie. I don't think that's it, though. I mean, because I can see part of it, but go on. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, I just... I think that some people are purists at heart, and they're like, these are the Ghostbusters I grew up with. I don't want to see any Nothing other... Nothing else is Ghostbusters you, ever. I don't want to see any other Ghostbusters ever. I gotta say, when I first heard about it, and the cast that was going to be in it, I was very disappointed. Because I was one of the people, like everyone else, that wanted to see some regular casts come back. And now, the more and more I hear... I don't think the regular cast is going to be in it at all. And if so, they'll be in it very little. Right? I had heard that they are going to be uh, cameos from the surviving Ghostbusters, the original Ghostbusters, but they're not going to be playing their their Ghostbusters roles. Yeah, that's what I They're just going to have, like, just random... That's dumb. Yeah. That is so dumb. Why not make a movie and... uh, I, like I said, I, I did preface, I'm very excited to see this, and I, I am on board with seeing this movie. I might not say the same thing next week when we review. I, I don't know. But I'm on board with seeing it. Um, but why not make this movie a sequel? I don't know why it's not a sequel. I don't know why it's Doesn't not. Doesn't that make sense? It's 2016. Yeah, why it's... A, Everyone <laughs> saw the first two. Yeah, I don't know why it's not... Why it's a reboot and not a sequel, like you said. Um, Why can't we say... Because it looks like all the ghosts get out, like in the first one, you know? Why can't we say, oh, senile old uh, Ray freaking knocked the ghosts out. Or he's going crazy because some sort of ghost, like, took him over and he has no willpower anymore because he's so old and pissing himself or something. Or or they could have just been... They could have retired after the second movie, we've got all the ghosts. We don't have any other problems. There's been no more flare-ups of ghosts, of paranormal activity. Yeah. So we've retired, and the the equipment has become faulty, and all yeah, the ghosts come they, out. Okay. 
I don't see them being as big of losers as they were at the beginning of two, though. If I if, let's this, we'll just call this section Jake and Tom rewrite the new Ghostbusters. Movie. <laughs> so, of, you know how the beginning of the first one would always, or the beginning of the second one always bothered me because they kind of just started over and they're kind of like, well, nothing that happened in the first one matters anymore. The second one I don't remember watching as much as I had the first one. So it's still kind of fuzzy in my mind, but... Like, they start and they're, like, going to kids' how, or Halloween parties. Birthday parties. Because they have no money. Because, they're, again, there's no ghosts to catch. And nobody yeah. believe. Everyone thinks that the incident with, with uh, Zool was yeah. just them putting on a big show. Which it's, I don't understand how you get that Zool much and Gozer and, Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but uh, I guess... After the end of the second one and, and all the crap that happens, people will be like, oh, God, let's just give all the, the government's money to the Ghostbusters now. <laughs> but, but yeah, why not, like you said, why not just make it a sequel? Man, I'd... I, had, I had also heard, but I don't know how true it is, that they are going to make another Ghostbusters movie with an all-male cast. Like with Jonah Hill and... I, like, did, I didn't hear casting. Yeah. I That's what I heard is the two guys from 21 Jump Street and then some other of those, like, younger comedians that are... What, whatever those kids yeah. watch, you know? <laughs> Just, um, I don't know. It could work. Uh, I'm... I don't. I've never had a problem with an, with this particular reboot, the Ghostbusters movie coming out this week. Yeah, I mean we're sitting here. We're all. It, well, this is an audio only version right now. If you guys could see us, we're sitting here drinking ecto coolers. I mean, that that doesn't necessarily put us on board with the Ghostbusters movie, which we are. We just we're really excited about drinking Ecto Cooler. I would so, have been drinking Ecto Cooler even if there wasn't a Ghostbusters movie. If they would say, "Here's Ecto Cooler coming out for no reason," I'd been like, "Oh, thank, thank God, God." Yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of movies, something else we watched. We went and saw uh, the Secret Life of Pets. What did you think? I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, I liked it quite a bit. Um, I noticed that we've talked a lot about cartoons. Yeah, on we, our <laughs> I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> But I I really liked it. I don't think it was as good as Zootopia was. No, no, no. Zootopia it. was like the best movie this year. I mean, I know a lot of people has compared it. A guy I work with said he took his uh, rented Zootopia yeah. to watch with his girlfriend, and she thought it was Secret Life of Pets. So I, the comparison's there somewhere, I think. <laughs> oh, but because they're animals. animals, yeah. But yeah, it, it was a really good movie. I really liked the the voice acting in it quite a bit. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Louis C.K.? Louis C.K. was in it. Um, Kevin Hart. The dude that plays Cam, I cannot think of the actor's name, um, from Modern Family, was the big Eric dog. Stone Street. Huh? Eric Stone Street. Eric Stone Street, right. I couldn't nail down who the heck he was for, like, half the movie. And then, you know how you get, when you're watching one of those movies and you turn, I, I did turn to you and I was like, hey, that's who this guy is. He's Cam, the the big dude from, mm-hmm. from that that show. Um, Dana, I liked Dana it a lot. Carvey. Yeah, Dana. I knew Dana Carvey like as soon as he started talking because Dana Carvey had that show. Is it it's probably done already? Had that show. It started like two months ago. <laughs> the, uh, in, the impression one. Yeah. I forget what it's called. Even Dana Carvey when he's on for me, he's like he's hilarious, and then he sucks also. Um, yeah. So, like, most of his impersonations are absolutely awful, in my opinion. So, I think... I didn't like his voice acting in the movie. But yeah, I liked like, his character a lot. Oh, you didn't like the voice acting of the old man? Yeah, dog. I wish he would have done some, done a different voice for it. Um, that's just... I think that was just me being biased and, like, uh, Dana Carvey's not being absolutely hilarious right now. <laughs> um, what I did do when I got home from this movie... Because, you know, the way... With these kids' movie, they always end with either dancing or, like, something really happy happening at the yeah. end, you know? Because it's a kids' movie. Um, man, the end of this movie made me almost, like... I didn't tear up, so don't make fun of. But, like, the end of the movie, like, really kind of touched me in a place, like... Not in a bad place. Um, <laughs> like, I want to go home and pet, just, like, love my kitty. You know, like... Just, did you like go home and hug your dog after you watched with, the movie? Um, 
it's kind of funny because it's very similar to my dogs. I had Carver first. Yeah, it, it then, really is. And then I brought home Finn later, and Carver hated him. Yeah. For a while. And then finally... Because he's like, this... Tom, Tommy's mine. Like, yeah. he's not... You're just here f- for a minute until you find a better house. This isn't yours. Yeah, so he uh, just kind of ignored him for a while and then kind of, you know, fought him for a little bit. But now they're the best friends ever, you right. know. So that kind of reminded me of them in a way. So I guess it did touch me a little bit more than... Yeah. You, you put yourself into those kind of movies. That's that's when there's something special in a movie, when, when you can kind of put yourself in it. Um... In other news, this is probably my, the biggest news of the week. Pokemon Go came out. Pokemon Go released Thursday? I don't know. It's been a blur since yeah, it came out. Since it's been I just, out just... Like, I've been so sleep deprived because... We didn't catch any ghosts, but we caught a crap ton of Pokemon. Yes. Um, just, here's a for instance... Last night, I was in Albia. I, I went home uh, to Centerville. Um, it was, what, probably 12.30, 1, and Savannah was tired. So she's like, hey, I'm going to bed, and gets out of the car. She drove. She gets out of the car, starts walking into her apartment. I'm walking the other way. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I said, I have to go uptown <laughs> to make sure that there's, a, there's uh, you know, make sure if there's Pokemon and, and to go get more Pokeballs at the stops. I also need to go to the Continental and uh, make sure that I'm the gym leader there. Um, upon going there, I saw two guys walking, looking at their phones, leaving, because it had just changed. Team Yellow Supremacy, by the way. <laughs> it just changed from red to blue, and these two guys like had smiles on their face, and little did they know that my fat ass was on its way <laughs> over to, to ruin their, their gym. So, so I said, you know, I was kind enough to, on the way, because I think there's two ways of going it. There's, there's an absolute war, or there's what I think, what I like about Pokemon, is everyone's playing it because everyone's talking about how fun it is. Mm-hmm. Um, I said to the guys, I said, you might as well collect your coins now, because I'm heading there to kill your thing. <laughs> and they're like, what do you mean coin? They didn't even know how that works. Oh, yeah. So I was, I was like, I felt good because I was like, good Samaritan, like I didn't need to do that. Yeah, there's a community building. I mean, this game is, I'm going to say, a genuine phenomenon. I mean, you see people walking around with their heads in their phones, places that you know that there's Pokestops, and like, okay, these people are playing Pokemon Go. Yeah. And people drop the, the lure modules, and then it's a Poke party right there. You know, yeah, people I made, show up. Yeah, and, we made friends with like these high schoolers that were all sitting around a statue in, in, uh, in Centerville a couple nights ago. It was like 11 o'clock at night. We were laying in bed. I was laying just literally in my underwear. And I was like, I'm going to take one last look at Pokemon before I fall asleep. And I saw that there was the hearts like falling yeah. from there. I was like, Jesus! You know, and got all my clothes on. And, and Savannah's like, what are you doing? I said, Pokemon, there's a lure trap. She's like, Jesus! And does the same thing. <laughs> and so, um, have you caught anything really cool? Or, I mean, what? What do you think? I mean, I've gotten pretty much just standard things so far. I yeah, mean, I really like how it, it's kind of location based. Whereas when I went to this the reservoir and there's water type Pokemon out there. Yep. And in the in cities and stuff that you know you have your Raditas and your Pidgeys everywhere. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend any money on this game though. Well, I let me revise my statement. I said about a month ago when there was E3 that um, that I was going to buy Pokemon Plus. And you, I stand by that statement. You're going to get the wristband. Absolutely. Yeah, I think I will too. But I will not buy any microtransactions because I'm, uh, I don't know. That's a slippery slope. But, and we could talk more about this, but I just, I really hate the fact that there are microtransactions. But they got to make their money. I get it. It's, and they're going to make a shit ton of money. They have to do something and they will make money. There's so many people playing it. I'm so addicted myself. I've, I don't know how many times, I because I said I'm not going to spend money, how many times I've gone over the shop and I'm like, Just oh, tempted. Oh, five bucks. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not bad. <laughs> you know? But you could, Have I, you done that? I, yeah, it could. And I know exactly it'd be addicting for me. It'd be like, well, 
I bought this, I'm going to buy things again and again and again and again, so I just don't do it. Exactly my point. 